Obstructive jaundice is a type of jaundice caused by obstruction of the flow of bile. Patients with obstructive jaundice have a very characteristic presentation. To understand the specific signs and symptoms in obstructive jaundice, you need to have a good understanding of the pathophysiology of obstructive jaundice. Please note that obstructive jaundice is also called cholestatic jaundice or post-hepatic jaundice. Jaundice is characterized by high levels of bilirubin in the blood. Bilirubin is a breakdown product of red blood cells. Normally after a period of around 120 days, the red blood cells will become defective and they will be broken down by macrophages in areas such as the spleen, the liver and the bone marrow. These are areas rich in sinusoidal capillaries, which are capillaries which have large intercellular clefts that allow red blood cells to leak out freely. The hemoglobin in the red blood cells will be broken down into heme and globin. The globin will be used to make amino acids and the heme will be further broken down into iron, which will be stored as ferritin and biliverdin. The biliverdin will be further metabolized into bilirubin. And please note that this bilirubin is not water soluble, so it cannot freely dissolve in the plasma and it needs another transporter. This transporter is going to be albumin, which is made by the liver. The albumin will come along in the blood and this bilirubin will bind to it. As this bilirubin has not gone through a specific conjugation process, which makes it water soluble, this bilirubin is called unconjugated bilirubin and it will now move towards the liver. The unconjugated bilirubin will reach the liver. As it is lipid soluble, it can be taken up by the hepatocytes. Here, it will react with an enzyme called UDP glucuronal transferase. This enzyme adds a glucuronal group onto the unconjugated bilirubin and forms conjugated bilirubin. The conjugated bilirubin will be water soluble. The liver will secrete the conjugated bilirubin along with the bile into the bile ducts, and it will move in the bile ducts and eventually reach the intestines. Bacteria will act on the conjugated bilirubin in the intestines and form urobilinogen. A small proportion of the urobilinogen will be taken up back to the liver through the portal system and an even smaller proportion will reach the systemic circulation and eventually reach the kidneys. In the kidneys, as the urobilinogen is water soluble, the kidneys can excrete the urobilinogen out in the urine. The remaining urobilinogen in the intestines will be further metabolized into stercobilin. The stercobilin will be excreted out in the feces and it is what gives feces their characteristic brown pigmentation. In obstructive jaundice, there is some kind of obstruction to the flow of conjugated bilirubin in the bile ducts. This could be due to gallstones, but there are a number of causes of obstructive jaundice. The conjugated bilirubin will not be able to pass through the intestines. This means that there will be very little or no urobilinogen being made. Very little urobilinogen will be taken up by the hepatocytes. So very little urobilinogen will reach the kidneys. This means that patients with obstructive jaundice will have very little or no urobilinogen in their urine. And this is one of the characteristic signs of obstructive jaundice. The lack of urobilinogen in the intestines means that very little stercobilin will be produced and very little will be excreted out in the feces. This means that patients with obstructive jaundice can present with clay-colored stools. This is because they lose that normal brown pigmentation that stercobilin would normally give in the stools. The conjugated bilirubin will start to build in the bile ducts. It can start to leak out of the bile ducts and between the tight junctions of the hepatocytes and it can eventually reach the systemic circulation. It can cause a hyperconjugated bilirubinemia. The conjugated bilirubin is water soluble. This means that the kidneys can excrete the conjugated bilirubin out in the urine and cause darker urine. These are the clinical features of obstructive jaundice.